What is happening and welcome to Convention Spotlight. Each episode we head to a different tattoo convention and sit down with a new artist. This episode we sat down with Liam Harbison at the Isle of Wight Tattoo Convention. So uh, let's go and see what he has to say. My name is Liam Harbison. I am from the South West London area, Fulham. I tattoo a modern classic and I've been tattooing for about seven years now. So I was going to get my next question, actually. Is that the second question? <laughs> uh, well, I've answered it already. Uh, okay. <laughs> what got you into tattooing? I think like from, from an early age, I was always drawing through like school and stuff like that. I'd just be constantly obsessed with it. And then I just always wanted to do something a bit more creative. And then I was like getting into like, you know, skating and going to gigs and like listening to other bands. I've seen tattoos, I thought it was cool. So I was like, got into it, like just started looking at a lot of shops and reference and just getting a bit more obsessed with it and then got an apprenticeship. And then we went from there and got like really into like traditional tattooing and you know, that kind of side of, of tattooing and how bold it is. And that's what, yeah, I just kind of nubbed with it from then. But what is your favorite machine to use? See, I, I use, obviously I use a lot of like coils, um, uh, a couple rotaries, but that's mainly, you know, direct drives and and then a couple hybrids. I have to say, thank you, man, at the moment, the V3 arm, like for, for lining and stuff like that, where I'll use different like through pins through like different worth and stuff like that. Yeah, they're just great. I like, I like the little dial on the back so you can change the throws. If you're using like 14, you can like make a hit real hard. If you're using like a single or a three, you can like bring it back so it's real soft. It's got, it's got the slap of the coil, which I like. Um, but it's got the like the adjustability of like a rotary machine, you know. So that's that's why I think it's it's a good hybrid machine. But um, but as like tattoo machines go, yeah, I think it's it's great. But I really use them for too much for shading. Shaders I normally use like Scott Sylvia's. So I use his shaders and Andy Dykes as well. He's a UK builder. Um, known him for a while. He's built me a lot of machines, and um, yeah, his shaders just are great. They never fail to disappoint, and they're really easy to like maintain and keep up so yeah it's like a mixture of them machines they're like normally the three in circulation that i'm using I, I, i've tried i've tried using like rotaries and and cartridges and stuff like that I, I i like it but for me it just it slowed down my workflow like a lot and i feel like with this style it's kind of like you want to do it kind of quick and you know slick and for for a rotary it just felt like when i was lining with one it was just taking forever and yeah. laying in black was like an effort i like them for color the cartridges for sure because like switching out from like i don't know like a dark brown to like a bright yellow just switch just grab a new cartridge so do you prefer using needle on the bar from my experience yeah and for my style for sure like i uh, like i i just feel like with a straight bar and like a coiled machine it just i don't know it just works so much better and i feel like because with with a coil you've got a little bit of like a give in a spring i feel like you can really get the needle in there and just lay like nice lines down without being like too direct onto the client. So I feel like, yeah, some like when I've lined with rotaries in the past, you can you can really feel the kind of friction and restraint from like the skins and stuff like that. But I feel like coils, because they've got a spring in them, they kind of just go with the flow of what you're tattooing. So I've always just found them a lot easier to line with. So what would you say is the most important thing about tattooing for you? Um, I think is working hard at it like trying to produce as as much like work as you can not necessarily like tattooing but like drawing and like making prints and like speaking to clients going to conventions and like i think that's a big important part of it that like a lot of people need to kind of keep up with because you know like now it's it's really easy to get really famous on instagram and get booked for like years you know or become like you know one of these tattooers that just like close their books after six months of tattooing but like it's you know that that will fade away and then what's left is like people that won't you know really appreciate tattooing and you know uh, it's a craft and it's, it's art and everyone has their own expression in it so i think that's how you should keep it you shouldn't just like chase the kind of followers and this kind of like clout that other instagram artists have you know it's just like, yeah, do it because you love it and you've got a passion for it, not just because it, you think it's cool because you've seen someone else do it online. You know, that's, that's how I feel. It's like with, with, with my kind of Instagram, like, I just do it for fun. Like, I'm not there trying to be like, oh, uh, this kind of persona online. I just post what I like to post. 
And I like it when people come in and they're like, oh yeah, I've, I've seen you've tattooed my mate. Uh, I've seen the tattoos. I want to get one done by you. It's, it's not because they've seen it online. They've seen it in person and they want that tattoo. Now, I appreciate that a lot more when it's just like, you see your tattoos floating about and then someone's seen it and they're like, oh yeah, I saw this bit on, on, on this guy and I really liked it. You're like, cool, like, let's do it. And like, I think that's, that's what a lot of people need to keep up with is, you know, is having that communication with your clients and like, you know, making them feel like they want to get tattooed by you again or like them telling their mates or their family because, you know, they enjoyed getting tattooed by you. So it's not all about like how many tattoos you can do. It's like, you know, but that's what else you can do and how people kind of look at them and, you know, want to guess tattooed by you. Somebody that is brand new to the industry and apprentice, if you could give them one piece of advice, what would that be? Probably delete TikTok. Yeah, get off that. Like, look at tattoos that you enjoy looking at, not that you think is trendy and popular. My like, stuff that you enjoy looking at and draw as much as you can and put everything you've got into tattooing. Like, because, yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people nowadays are getting into it because they're seeing it on, you know, social media and they're, they're again, they're expecting this kind of whole lifestyle out of it when it's, you know, it's, it's not always going to be like that. And it's not going to be like that if you don't put the drive and passion into it. So that's what I'd say, just like stay honest to it, like go for what you enjoy doing and yeah, just ignore the bullshit. <laughs> if you would like to be featured, keep an eye out for when we're attending tattoo conventions and just drop us an email and if we can make it happen, we will. If you have liked this episode, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with everything that we do and all future videos. Take it easy.